Okay, we are running this on Xbox Game Cloud. We're gonna test it out and see how it works when we play online. Hopefully I'll be joined by my buddy, Scrooge, great big Scrooge from the Angry Wolf Syndrome. I'll have a link to his channel down below, but let's check it out. I'll go story mode, we'll go to continue. Let's uh, hold down the button to skip. So far so good. Now this is uh, Android Galaxy, I believe S10. Should probably know my own phone, but you know, it's whatever. Okay, so let's go with two people. I don't want to wait too long because then they'll leave. You know how it goes with this type of thing. Let's go to level, we'll go to stage two. People could join while we're playing too. But yeah, this is completely online cloud play. Through Game Pass's X Cloud. So, you know, if you don't have a console and you have one of these little controllers, or most Android-based controllers should work. I like this one because it's set up, if you can see on the top, it has all the button layout. And let's move the character around. Yeah, I mean, it's running really smooth right off the top and we have three other characters all, you know, we're playing an online game here. Hopefully you can hear some of the sound effects of the game. Uh, it's whatever just is picking up on my mic. There we go. Yeah, a lot of characters on screen. I'm not really dealing with any lag. Now I do have really good internet. I don't know the exact speeds, but the internet is pretty decent where I live. Whoa. Yeah, this is playable. Do all the little moves. It is hard to see uh, just because the camera's off to the side. If it was directly in front of me, this would be much easier to see. But, uh, you know, just for the purpose of getting the shot, you know, I, I have things off center from myself, but I can see it enough to play. And you can with this controller, it does come with, there you go, launch them at the, at the screen. With this controller, you also have, it comes with a holster so you can play with the controller and the screen connected, kind of like a Nintendo Switch type of setup, you know. That way it's a little bit more portable. But I, whenever I'm in a place where there's a surface, I like to just set it up like this. We'll play like two or three levels just to see how it runs. Get those special moves. And let's not forget about the taunt. Now my buddy uh, Scrooge from the Angry Wolf Syndrome told me that I, one thing I didn't know, one move I, I couldn't figure out is how to get radical mode going. So I'll say it now because I did not say it in my full playthrough. And if you do want to see the full playthrough I have uploaded today, a full entire playthrough on Xbox Series X running. Um, so you can watch that if you do want to see a playthrough of it in the description down below of a link to that. But he told me anyways, for radical mode to activate, you have to hold down the right bumper, not tap it. Tapping the right bumper will taunt. But I, I believe he said if you hold it down, it'll unleash radical mode. I think that's what he said. Maybe it's, could be a different button. You have to hold a button down rather than tapping a button. Maybe you have to have three unlocked. I only have two right now. I have seen people with three. I, I didn't even know you can get more than two. But somebody on screen had three charged up, I'm pretty sure, unless I saw that wrong. This game's great, by the way. I love it. And uh, it's really cool that you can play it portably like this. I do have it on the Nintendo Switch as well, and it may try that one. It may do a little bit of footage just on that to show the variety. Another reason I use Casey Jones is, you know, when everybody starts to scramble together, it's hard to tell what turtle is yours. Casey's a little bit different looking. Look at all that fury. Scuzz bucket. Unleash the Fury. 
Yeah, man, there's no... I haven't had one bit of lag yet. I don't even know if I'd be able to tell the difference between playing it like this and playing it actually downloaded to my console. I'm sure if you play long enough, you'll get a hiccup here and there, but it's extremely playable like this, a game, as I expected. I mean, other games I've played in this style, Battletoads, the newer one, uh, Streets of Rage 4, they all ran pretty smooth. As long as your internet speed is up to par, I haven't really run into any problems. Hopefully the game footage is clear enough for you guys in there. Where am I? I'm down the corner. Oh, that was a waste. That's right, you just get it right back. Throw a taunt or two and you're, and you're good. You're back up and running. Let's go. Bebop. Well, it's Rocksteady. This is stage two. Episode two. Unleash it. Scrooge might be in this game. I don't know if he's playing right now. I hope he got in. Did send him an invite. Well, we saw it in the beginning. Ah. Got him. And I'm the party leader here, too, and, you know, no problem. People are joining. People are playing. They're not obviously noticing anything too crazy because they're not leaving. Let's go to... Let's skip ahead a little bit. We're going to go ahead. Get to some of these other stages. Yeah, kicking some ass. Uh oh, April, she's gonna bounce out. Sometimes people drop out of the game. And what you could do is just. Uh... Okay, she's gone. You could you could boot them out if they're not moving. Sometimes people get glitched. And that, I don't think, has anything to do with the Cloud 8, because that's the same thing that was happening when I was playing on the Xbox Series X uh, through download. You can also use the joystick here if you want. I prefer to use the D-pad with a game like this. It's just a little easier for me. What the hell's going on here? I want these tools.
Do I have, I wonder if I have my, um, I wonder if I've received my back technique. If you do like, if you hit the back button and then you hit a, the uh, special mode, it'll do a third type of special attack. And I don't know if I've unlocked it with him yet. We're gonna test it out and find out. Oh, that was a waste. Man, they really let you hold on to that for a while. Oh, wait. No, I don't have it yet. It just did the standard. That's okay. We'll get it. We'll get it eventually. That's the great thing about the cloud. You know, it picks up your save wherever you left off at home. I don't use it that often. That's the crazy thing. I have this set up with this controller, and I, I barely use it. I don't really play my Switch that often either. Um, I, I play Moon... Well, I mainly play on Twitch. That's why when I do play... Or I'm recording for YouTube. And this is usually not the ideal way to Twitch or, or record for YouTube, so I guess it makes sense. All right, here we go with the Rat King. It's gonna send those waves at us. Whoa. Let's see how well I could dodge this on the cloud. Ah, well that's not fair. I mean, I guess it's fair. I can't say it's not fair. I played it that way. I always screw this one up. This is like the only one I'm effective at dodging. Where is he? We're getting it, we're learning. No. Where the hell am I? I thought maybe I could walk through those guests. Nah, I'm just gonna take them, I don't even care. I mean, this is all for the purpose of the video, you know what I'm saying? Ah! Damn it. I'm about toast. Someone give me a pizza. Uh, it's the left bumper next to the character to give him a pizza, but there's no way anyone's gonna give me a pizza with all those rats running through. It's not gonna happen. Oh wait, no, I'm dead. But let's be honest, there's continues, so we're not really dead. Where am I, where am I? Ugh, up at the top. I still sometimes forget who I am. I know who I am, I just forget. So much chaos, you don't see where your character goes. Next thing you know, you're running into a wall. All right, he's done. 
All right, cool. It works surprisingly, well, not surprisingly well. I, I didn't think it would have any problems, but it does run really well. This is another way to play this game if you don't have a console, but you want to sign up for Game Pass and play it this way, and you have some kind of a controller that you want to play with. It does work. I actually think you can use touchscreen uh, controls as well, but uh, I mean, I would definitely think it's better with something that you can something that you can touch. It's a little bit easier to control. I think it would be a little harder. But anyways, it works really well, and that's pretty cool. Stay tuned for more virtual reality videos we have coming up and all sorts of other stuff like that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.